Helen is, of course, that Helen of Sparta, Helen of Troy, Helena hated of Greece. In a dream or drought, she left Troy. She finds herself in Egypt. How? Why? My name is Kate Rapulia. Uh, I am the Development and Marketing Specialist at the Bethlehem Area Public Library. I am also a writer, published novelist, uh, freelance researcher, designer, doer of all the things. Hi, I'm Seth Moglin. I'm a professor of literature over at Lehigh University. Uh, I'm uh, a Southside Bethlehem resident. I've lived here for about 20 years and uh, most of my publications are about modernism, and I have published on uh, Hilda Doolittle, the poet, H.D. I just think it would be really a great way to honor a person who is from Bethlehem, who went out into the world and made a very serious contribution in the arts, in letters, as a writer, um, as a poet, and as an essayist and a prose writer. And, and she's buried here. I mean, this was where she was born. This is where she came back. I think, it's, I think it's a wonderful thing to have a portrait, in a library especially, you know, overlooking a public space where people can come and learn things and discover things and, uh, and have their world made larger. It would uh, be great if it made more people aware of who HD was, if it made more people pick up a book of her poems and really, you know, made them both appreciate who she was and what she did in the world, and also make them appreciate, you know, where their hometown a little more, like where, where someone from Bethlehem can go and how they can come back. So one of the reasons this project is so exciting to me is that H.D. is not only the greatest literary figure to have been born and raised in Bethlehem, she's the most important artist uh, born and raised in our city. I think it's a wonderful initiative to put H.D.'s portrait up in the main branch of the Bethlehem Public Library, just down the street from where H.D. grew up, for several reasons. H.D. is, of all the people born and raised in Bethlehem, H.D. is one of the people of whom we should be proudest. And I love the idea of generations of children and their families and older readers coming into the library and seeing this enormously inspiring literary figure there just across from the circulation desk. I hope that HD will inspire not only readers, but also writers, and that people growing up, including girls and young women, uh, will look at HD and they will think, if she could become one of the great writers of the 21st century, I could become one of the great writers of the 21st century. Okay, this is the part where I ask all of you to give us money. The exciting thing about this project is that because we're using this sort of crowdfunding model is that at an incredibly small cost to each of you watching this, we'll be able to hire a uh, professional painter and commission a uh, museum quality portrait of the great Hilda Doolittle. Please consider giving just a few dollars uh, if, if you can and please share this with your friends and family and ask everyone to just contribute uh, a, a small gift to the library for this for this exciting project and uh, before long we will be cutting the ribbon on our brand new Hilda Doolittle portrait at the Bethlehem Area Public Library. Thank you!